Can't forget the lorry line. That should always be done first, I think. to go sail around the bay for a while us and there's at least one more boat out there and then we're gonna uh, around six o'clock raft up and have some dinner i know i probably sound like a broken record because i always say this but i always think about how when we first started sailing we, we used to come out here in lower bay right outside of windjammers and we would just sail around yep. and how we thought oh my gosh it's so far to go to the lighthouse how are we ever gonna make it there? And then one day we just said, let's go. And we went and then came back and we were like, oh my gosh, we, I can't believe we went to the lighthouse. And it's like only like right there, but it seemed so far at the time when we first started sailing. It, I, I know, because really when we first got the sailboat, we were fresh learning how to sail, period. And Everything about the boat was brand new to us. So just to be under wind powered in a boat, and to us, a 25 foot boat, right, was really large. I mean, when you sit in the back of the boat and you look forward 25 feet and you got to swing the boat into the, the dock without hitting anybody else, that was my biggest stress. So when I'm out here sailing for the first time, I'm like psychologically, you're like, well, let's not go too far. Let's just sail around, get to know the boat because we got to dock this thing. And I don't know if I'm able to dock it, you know, but now, after what we've all done the last few years, it's like, yeah, huh. miss these simple pleasures. I didn't know that you were had stress over docking it. You always do so well. In the very beginning, I was really nervous. Huh. Okay, well, that makes me feel better that I'm really nervous docking the boat. Because it's because you got a dock on one side, you got another guy's person's boat on the other side, and you got not a lot of room. It. And you got to know your speed and the wind conditions and. This is a great boat to learn on, to be in a 25 footer. Now, when we go up to a 30 footer, it's gonna be that much easier, but it looks like when you go to a 25 to a 30, it's that much more of a boat and that much more, I guess, whatever you wanna call it, the, the mass of the boat to control, so. Yeah. But no, it's nice to do this. Yeah, Merle and Steve, they're the leader of this cruise. Wrapped up, anchor out. Yep. So we just got done sailing out in the bay. About, yeah, about maybe a third of the way across. We came back and now we're just gonna wrap up. This is some music and watch the sunset. So when we heave too, it's just a matter of backwinding the head sail. And by doing that, we tie the tiller off so that it's on the opposite throw than what the head sail wants to do with the wind. So by backwinding the sail, we're literally just at a small drift with the sails up and we're controlled. I think too is kind of nice. It really gives you a chance to do stuff. It does. You hardly ever do this. I was gonna go front and put this on, but <laughs> there's a wall in the way. How does that work? Can you just like drop the main right now? Probably not, right? I don't know. It's kind of full. It's full, but why don't you, why don't you try it? Let's see if I can lower it once. Is that dumb? Nice. Oh, wrong. I'm pulling the wrong line. Yeah, you know what you could do is release the main sheet so the sail goes way out to the side, then it'll drop. Okay. Can bring it back in. That's a 
didn't work too terrible. No, that was actually pretty good. You want to grab me a couple sail ties, I'll tie her up right away. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to leave our sail cover off tonight or put it on? I could probably leave it off. But we're not going to be sailing tomorrow, so maybe it. putting it on. We can do it later. Unless it's a gorgeous morning for a sail and sunrise or something. Yeah, but we got to be back for Pippi. Yeah. All right. If you have any silk cover, I'll throw it on. All right. I'll take it just like that and I'll set it up okay. here. Yeah, I'm not sure how it got folded. Yep, I do. I know how. Okay. Backward because of the way the anchor is, I suppose. Okay. Right, okay. Like I can do that. Forward. I can pull you backwards. Probably backwards would be easier. Uh, well, that's, I can't. No, that's, you guys are going backwards. Here. Yeah. There. No. I can help. Yeah. We're doing it. Okay. We are not. <laughs> Where do you want? You want your boat forward or our boat forward? I don't care. I think <laughs> you said. One, I'm not the skipper. You so, gotta ask that guy. Tell me when. What? What are you gonna do there? I'm pushing this back. No, you're not you're gonna fine. gain anything unless that oh here we go. Yeah. We're all gonna take control of that. Yeah, we can throw a Lord string line. Solving it. Look, there, you go. Oh. there you go. Now you could clean it there, Merle. We can put a string line yeah. there then. Okay, I'm cleaving now. Yep, cleave there and hand Lori that line, you can tie it up there. Just like that. Now we're as pure. Right. What'd you break in there? Guess what? Jim Beam. Jim Beam. That's right. You want some? <laughs> yeah. No, I got my own rum up here. Okay. I got some Myers and some coconut rum and okay. Gloria might like some Jim Beam. No, she you always like does. No, I'm, I'm beam or beam and water or I think I'm gonna have a beer. Did you see the picture I took of you? No. It's when? on your phone. Oh is oh, it? You, did you email it or text it? Could you tell it to It was when it. you were sailing. I got it, I got it. I'm right here. When you were sailing by yourself with your big hat on and you <laughs> down below. Mixing just you and the boat with your big hat. <laughs> that was a beautiful. Wow. Yeah, she's Did I have a hat. smile on my face? I usually am like, oh, this is the light. No, you can't see your face. Okay. You can't see your face. Pretty good. It's a nice meal, right? Can't take me anywhere. So what happened, Lori? Right a bunch of stuff. Did you lose spilled. a little, uh, little uh, shrimp yeah, juice? I mean, or just vegetable, <laughs> everything juice. It's kind of <laughs> whatever. Oh well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now we had a nice meal of uh, tuna, shrimp, mushrooms, onions, and some kind of a marinade we put on it. Oh yeah, zucchini. No squash. Squash. No squash. Zucchini squash. And we cooked it on that little, um, a little propane grill that mounts on the boat, and we rolled it up in tin foil, and uh, had these three little pods. It worked really well. It cooked nice, and uh, there was a little bit of liquid that ran out of some of the. Coaches. Da -da. Da -da -da. All over my legs. The ultimate is to sail around the world with the only means both directions, both directions, twice. Once this way, once that way. Sunrise.
Sunday morning. We've got a couple kayakers that came out to have breakfast. We're gonna pull our anchor and head over there in a few minutes. But first, we've gotta get this person out of bed. And I'm not sure how to do it. Are you hungry? You want coffee? Mm hmm You better get up. Did you make some coffee? Um, not yet. I didn't bring any. Uh oh. Crepes. This is so much better. You can't make pancakes ahead, but you can make crepes ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Now I just wanted them all. Oh. Wow. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It was kind of fun. Yeah. Well, we split up after an amazing breakfast of crepes, bacon, ham, champagne. It was just. Perfect. And the bay just looks amazing. It's so calm right now. 